With the current COVID reduced flight schedules, it's important that pilots have no difficulties when deadheading as there are fewer backup options. So today, we are going to talk about CBA provisions pertaining to the jump seat and pre-board allowances when a pilot is scheduled for deadhead. Section 5S1 states, in part, a pilot will be guaranteed a seat in the cabin, but may, at his discretion, ride on the cockpit jump seat to prevent the removal of a customer from the flight if an oversell occurs. This language applies in all situations where you are scheduled for a deadhead. There is absolutely no circumstance where you can be denied an actual seat in the cabin for a deadhead assignment. A last minute reassignment to a deadhead on an oversold flight may create a challenge for ground ops employees to reaccommodate passengers. However, you should never be told that you are required to deadhead on any jump seat. It's always at your discretion. If a situation arises where there is a conflict with another Southwest employee over this bargain for CBA right, please remain calm and professional and have a witness present for your conversation. Section 5S2 states, pilots on scheduled deadheads will be allowed to pre-board. This is a simple sentence. However, SWAPA has had to file a grievance over this bargain for right. And despite a settlement with the company, we continue to see situations where pilots are denied pre-board or denied a seat in the cabin, either due to tech debt issues with boarding passes or ground ops managers who are not in compliance with their own manuals. If you have been denied a cabin seat or the right to pre-board for a deadhead or were involuntarily moved to a different deadhead flight due to passenger loads, please contact SWAPA at the number listed or email us at contractadmin at swapa.org.